now that you are familiar with the patient assessment system, it's time to see it in action from start to finish. This video demonstrates each step of the scene size up, the primary assessment, and the secondary assessment. If you are participating in a base medical training session, in person or live remotely, you will be expected to perform a patient assessment as seen here. So let's get to it and give this man the care that he needs using the patient assessment system. Okay, scene safety. I don't think rockfall is really a concern. I don't see any other safety hazards. There's, I'm going to put on my gloves. Terrain, yes, it's rocky, it's steep. There's, it's flat and sandy though to, to the trailhead. We're three miles out, but still fairly remote. There's some large boulders we may have to navigate. Environment, it's, it's cold and it's just going to get colder. There's some snow on the ground, obviously but I, there's no storm system expected to come in and right now there's no wind. Resources, he doesn't have much on him. I have my backpacking gear, my first aid kit. We're going to need additional help, I think, for sure. He's, he seems to be seriously injured. I think overall the situation is, is serious and we, we're going to need to get him out of here. Okay. Hey, I saw you take a fall. I'm trained in wilderness medicine. Can I help you? Oh, please, yes, please. Let me get this pad underneath you. Okay. And then let's try not to move your body and your neck too much. I'm worried that you might have a spinal injury. Okay. Oh. Okay, there we go. Good. Airway seems to be okay. You're talking to me. Can you open your mouth? Great. Breathing. Also, talk to me a good yeah. indication. Do you have any trouble breathing or any shortness of breath right now? Uh, no, I just, my left wrist is hurting a lot. I'll get to your wrist. I just want to make sure we're not missing anything serious. Okay. So I'm going to do a blood sweep. Make sure we're not missing any bleeding. Get the upper arm here and down. Okay, good. I'm sorry, it's a little cold. That's okay. Small the back as best I can. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick look. Good, that's all right for right now. Let's make sure the lower arm here. Okay, good. Upper arm. Yeah, right there. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, there's some bleeding direct pressure. Your jacket was, was absorbing a lot of it. Oh, gosh. Okay, oh. I'm going to apply. I'm going to apply the pressure dressing. I'm gonna continue the blood sweep. Get underneath here as best I can. Okay. Okay. That hurts right there a little bit. Oh yeah, all right. More bleeding, direct pressure. Okay, I'm going to do another pressure dressing. Pressure dressing has been applied. D for disability. Seems like you're mentating well enough. We've addressed your spine, don't move. It is really cold though. I think we need to make sure to, we need to keep you warm. So I'm going to put you in a hyper wrap. I'm going to wrap you up and Bear with me here while I set it up. After this, I'm gonna call for some additional help to get you out of here. Can you tell me your name? David Sanchez. David, okay. do you know where you are? 
Diablo Canyon. Diablo Canyon? Yeah. What month is it? Uh, January. January, good. What happened? Tell me what happened. Uh, I was just trying to enjoy the view. Uh, it's icy and it's snowy. I guess I just got too close to the edge and I just slip and, and I fell pretty, pretty, pretty high. David, I'm worried about your spine. I'll take a better look at it okay. in a moment. But for right now, I want to get you in this hyper wrap, all right? Okay. So I'm going to roll you towards me. Try not to move too much. I'm going to support your head and your neck. I'm going to slip my hand underneath your neck here. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring your arm across like uh, this. I know this wrist hurts. Uh -huh. On the count of three, one, two, three, roll towards me. Okay. Okay, yeah. good. Hold it while I'm here. Any pain? No. No? No. It's going to be cold. I just want to make sure we're not missing any bleeding. Okay. Okay. All right, good. Yeah. Let's go ahead and we're going to move the sleeping pad down a little further. Okay. To really make sure it's underneath your core. David, on the count of three, we're gonna go down. One, two, three. Oh. All right. Okay. Gentle. Good. Is that a little better? Right. Anything else? Any other pain anywhere? I have, a, I have a little bit of a headache. A headache? Okay. Nausea, dizziness? No, no dizziness, but a little nauseous. Blurred vision at all? No. No? Nothing else? No. Okay. Put a hat oh, on you. you. Let's just, ju just lift your head just enough. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Now we have you wrapped up. I'm going to call for help. Okay. Yeah. Oh. And we'll get this secured in just a moment. Oof. Okay. Help is on the way. So do you have any allergies to medications or food that I should be aware of? No, not that I know of. What about any medical conditions that I should be aware of? Uh, it's just anti-reflex uh, medication. That's what you take? Is that prescribed to you by a doctor? Yeah. What is the name of it? From what you... All right. And that's so you have acid reflex. Any other medical problems? No. Last time you urinated and had a bowel movement, when was that? Yeah, before we, I went hiking, this, so it was this morning. This morning? Yeah. Was it normal? Anything abnormal about it? It was normal. Good. Tell me what happened. Okay. All right, I'm going to take a set of vitals. gently because we're still worried about the spinal injury. Okay, I'm gonna start at the hair. Okay, I'm gonna do the full. There we go. This one's good. Okay, 
Can you move your fingers? Yeah. Can you feel this? Mm-hmm. No, I'm good. Wiggle your toes. Can you Later feel on that? in the week, she went ahead and, uh, and went to this one restaurant. So I'm going to get the tent set up and, you know, we can start to <clears throat> warm you up a bit more adequately and myself as well while we're waiting.